Atrial fibrillation, or AF, is an irregular heartbeat. It is caused by a breakdown in the natural pacemaker that is responsible for making sure that the four chambers of the heart contract in a coordinated way to pump blood around the body. Under normal circumstances, the pacemaker first makes the two chambers at the top of the heart, called atria, contract, squeezing blood into the two lower chambers, also known as ventricles. These in turn are triggered to contract, pushing blood out of the heart, into the arteries, and out to the body and the lungs. In AF, a malfunction of the pacemaker interrupts this coordinated sequence of contractions, causing the atria to twitch erratically, known as fibrillation, and the ventricles to contract more often and irregularly. In AF, the heart works less effectively as a pump, with the result that there are areas within the heart where blood flow is slow or stagnant. Where this happens, blood clots can form, and these account for the increased risk of stroke associated with AF. The problem with a blood clot in the heart is that some or all of it can break away and travel along an arterial highway directly into the brain. As the blood vessels branch and become ever finer, at some stage the clot or fragment of clot is going to be too large to progress any further and will block the vessel in which it is travelling. This means that the surrounding area of the brain can no longer receive oxygen delivered by the blood, causing the nerve cells to stop working and ultimately die. This complication is called a stroke, or more precisely, an ischemic stroke. Because clots that form in the heart may be quite big, they can block wide vessels that supply large areas of the brain. Consequently, strokes arising from AF may often be fatal or can cause temporary or permanent disabilities, depending on how long the oxygen supply to the brain is interrupted and which part of the brain was affected.